today because I tried to do like a week in my life vlog and then I just yesterday was weird so I decided that I wanted to do just like a what's been going on in my life type of video because it's been a while since I uploaded and I know I keep saying that but things have changed recently a lot of like life updates have happened so I'm going to share those with you throughout the vlog there's a very exciting announcement that I will give to you guys later and I'm very very excited for it but as for now I woke up this morning got some coffees you guys saw um, and just was doing a little bit of computer work and then I did my makeup which I do want to say I'm really proud of I tried like some new like products that I had but just in different ways if that makes sense and pretty happy with the outcome me and Ryan are going out today Ryan and I my roommates so I will be wearing mask anyway so you'll just be able to see this part but at least my eyebrows look good, so there we are. But I did make some breakfast. It's like 1.20 right now, but I have been eating super late. I woke up late today as well. I woke up at like 11.30 maybe. So I don't like to eat right when I wake up. I used to be that person who was like super hungry the second that I woke up. But lately I've just been waking up having a coffee and then I'll just like wait until I'm hungry to eat, which is nice because that's like intuitive eating and I think that's a good thing. So I did make some avocado toast with everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and ketchup on top don't come for me if you don't like ketchup but if you do like ketchup try it it is life-changing I like can't eat avocado toast without it now I'm gonna eat this and then Ryan and I like I said have plans to go out later actually pretty soon ish we're gonna go to Lowe's I think look for some plants to get I know he wanted to stop by Michael's look for some Halloween decorum I'm also meeting up with my friend Harmony who I see very often um, I don't love to hang out with people that I haven't been in contact with just with the whole COVID thing um, but I have seen Harmony a lot we are all set and we're gonna go and I think we're going to Ross to look for more Halloween decor so it's gonna be a very exciting very safe outing day with all the things going on uh, yeah, that's a whole nother topic, but I don't really want to get into that because we all know what's happening But everything's gonna be safe and we're gonna get out of this apartment I'm gonna eat this food right now and I will update you when I do something interesting The slow day, the calm and the night will unfold I never thought that I would be traveling this road keeps missing the clouds seem to fade and every occasion okay so it just started raining yes i literally love this weather so much i hate summer and i hate florida but florida summers the only good part about it is the fact that it like rains so so much and every day so it's my favorite thing we just got back home from home goods not home goods what am i saying <laughs> I want to go to Home Goods. We just got back home from Lowe's. I think I was thinking of Home Depot. So we got back home from Lowe's. I showed you guys some of the plants. Looking for like a bigger plant. I've got a couple spaces in my room. I just got this chair actually that Salem was sitting on this morning. And I want to put some like taller plants around it. But the thing is a lot of plants like that cats are allergic to. Or they're toxic to them. Not allergic. Toxic. Whatever. They're 
toxic to cats so I have to be careful about which plants I buy and also I need to make sure that they're tall enough because Salem loves to eat plants um, especially if they're not good for him so I didn't find any that I loved they had a couple of fiddly figs that I like really really want but they're really expensive and the ones at Lowe's like were kind of gross like not all of the leaves were great um they just looked not well cared for so I didn't end up getting any plants and we were gonna head out to Michael's but like I said there's a giant storm um coming in so we just went home instead I am meeting up with Harmony in about an hour and a half we're gonna go to Ross I believe look for some Halloween decor um, but this is kind of just like what I've been doing in quarantine like I go out you know not often like I'm usually home I'll just go out and get groceries or I'll go out by myself and just like walk around a Ross for 30 minutes and pick out some new things. But it's been a lot of, you know, solitude, which I don't mind. I actually like being alone. Um, and Ryan's been back at work, so I like when he's gone because we spent the entire uh, the entirety of quarantine together. So I like when I have my days alone um, to just do my thing. But I did want to come on here and talk to you guys about a really exciting life announcement. So I got a job right okay so let me rewind i am still working at universal and i'm still working at disney however i am furloughed from both of those and i don't have a date uh, when i'll be back and when i do get a date that i'll be allowed to come back i am still seasonal at both of them which basically there's a lot of things about it but basically means i get to pick my own schedule which before this was really really nice and i loved having that flexibility um but recently mm -hmm. Sorry, I just want to straighten out my camera frame. Um, but yeah, so I'm seasonal at the companies and basically that means I get to pick out my own schedule, which is great and I really like the flexibility. However, it, right now we're not allowed back to work just because they don't need that many people and they're trying to keep it contained the amount of people that are working so that's its own thing so about a month or two ago i decided that i wanted to um look more into doing social media marketing as like from a professional standpoint i do a lot of that on youtube and on instagram already for like my own business my own brand just as an actor it's important to learn how to promote yourself and you know i've been doing youtube for like five years so i decided that i thought it would be a good idea to try to you know learn a little bit more about it to try to get a an actual job in it aside from posting my own content so I went on LinkedIn and I did some courses and HubSpot and I can make a whole other video and I probably will about how to get a job in social media marketing without a degree because that's what I did <laughs> I was offered last week a full-time job salary benefits the whole nine yards it's literally what i like to call my first big girl job of just having all of these things i've never had a full-time job anywhere i've literally just been part-time at multiple places like a full-time gig as a social media coordinator with a really cool company um it's kind of a startup company i don't want to say the exact name of the company yet i might do that later but as for now i'm just keeping it on the down low but it's a uh, it's a startup company that has since grown a lot on social media so they're very up and coming and uh, it's gonna be a really, really exciting place to work and grow and learn because like I said, you know, I've been doing social media and stuff for a long time, but I haven't ever done it from this type of um, perspective, which I'm really, really excited about. So I am so thankful for this job. I went through three interviews. I had to do um, a project where I had to create content and three interviews to project uh, it was just a, it was a lot it was a really long process oh and then I had to contact my references and the references had to send all these things in so it, it did feel a little bit like I was applying to work at the White House um, but it's okay because <laughs> we made it through and thankfully why does my thing look like it's crooked again hold on I think that's better um, but Thankfully, I got an offer last week that I will be joining the team and I am so, 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 so excited because as most of you know, I have been unemployed for a while, for a long time, since mid-March. So it's going to be really, really nice to be at a job again. And it's a remote job, which basically means I get to work from home for at least until next year, which is really exciting. and kind of freeing like i i can take vacations really whenever i want and that like i can go places and work like it's it's easy so i am really thankful for that and it's just gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of fun i want to do a little bit um more videos on that specifically on social media marketing what it's like to i don't know work in that field because i posted some stuff on instagram and a lot of you guys seemed really interested uh in that whole 
journey so i am absolutely going to document that um especially because there's just really not a lot of theater things to document and i know a lot of you guys follow me for theater related content but there really isn't a lot to do right now so you know we're just switching gears right now it's not the end for me in theater theater is obviously my overall passion but i'm really just so grateful to have been given this opportunity and this kind of other career path that I can go down that will fit almost perfectly in with what I'm already doing in theater and social media. So it's really just, I don't have enough words. I'm very thankful I basically cried when they called to offer me the um, the position. I don't know how professional I was over the phone. I was like, thank you so much. You made me a whole week, blah, 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 blah. But they seem really, really cool. And I'm so, so excited to hop into that. So that is my good news. Like I said, I'm gonna go out with Harmony later. I'll probably take you guys along with me, but I'm, I'm really excited, so, yeah. So I just went out to Whole Foods. Um, I just met Harmony. We went to Michael's and Home Goods. We also went to Ross, but they didn't have a lot of stuff there. And by a lot of stuff, I mean they had like no home decor stuff. So we went to other places. But I went to Home um, Whole Foods. All of the names sound so the same. I went to Whole Foods and I got some kombucha and some like dark chocolate because I wanted something sweet to have. And I also picked up some sushi. So I'm really excited about that it's vegan sushi, so like cucumber, avocado. It's kind of boring, like I've had better sushi, but I was like in a sushi mood and I have some miso soup stuff at home. So it's gonna be really good and I'm very excited. Um, and that means I don't have to cook tonight, so we're about it. Um, but I'm gonna head home now because it's super busy out. It's like rush hour, so I just, I don't wanna be around people anymore. So I'm gonna go home. <laughs> So this is not a what I eat in a day, but I feel like I always have to vlog my food when I do these daily vlogs um, because food is such a big part of my day. So here's what I'm eating. And mind you, I've already eaten part of it because I forgot to do this, but we have some sushi from Whole Foods. It's like avocado, um, cucumber. I don't eat the ginger, um, but it's pretty good. Got some soy sauce. I got a kombucha. I'm very excited about this. And this is a miso soup. It came in like a little packet of four. So you just mix it with water. And then I added a little bit of salt because it wasn't salty enough. But this is the aesthetic meal. I've also been watching a show on Netflix called Teenage Bounty Hunters. I saw it and I was like, what is this? But it's by the same people who I did, I think did uh, Orange is the New Black, which I used to watch. I haven't watched any of the more recent seasons, but I used to watch it and I liked it. I started watching this and it's very funny. So highly recommend. Um, but it is very adulty, older, teenager-y focus, so keep that in mind if you decide to watch it. I'm going to keep watching it and finish my sushi, um, and we'll see what else we get up to tonight. You can't stop change any more than you can stop the suns from setting. Really? Was our thing. Yeah, I hear things have been really rough here. All right, guys, so I thought what a better of a place to end today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Salem, say thank you. Um, we're just cuddling, and I'm watching more of Teenage Bounty Hunters. It's just very funny, and just it's very good. Um, but I'm ending this on my phone because my camera is somewhere, and I wanted you guys to see cuddly Salem, if you can hear him. He's praying very loudly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you guys want to see more daily vlogs uh, like this, let me know because these are fun and these are easier for me to do. Um, I don't always go out. I, I really don't go out most days. So maybe I'll do one of just like staying home and what I do. Although it's not much. So I think that's why I haven't done one sooner is just trying to find things to actually film. Uh, but I do start my job next week. So I'll probably be able to film just like routines and things that I'm doing and yeah so thank you so much for watching and go follow me on Instagram if you guys are not already to see more consistent updates and I'm also on TikTok now um so Jessica underscore medley is my handle um that is a development I didn't think was going to happen but I finally downloaded it and I'm obsessed with it so if you guys want to follow my TikTok go ahead and do that but I'll see you guys in my next video bye